ta'ala good afternoon to all of you uh, welcome to today's session uh, environmental management and uh, clean production uh, today we supposed to take some presentations from you as we have done uh, last week getting your presentations is very important for the entire class because one way we can see how well you have received the knowledge out of our lectures okay because conducting session is one thing receiving the knowledge is another so your presentation reflects how well uh, you manage the knowledge and how well you can explain something special as your as your knowledge so this will be in your exams as well so very good to have the uh, presentations from you and you should be proud of delivering a very good presentation and don't be shy so this is a good opportunity for you so today uh, my first presentation i'm expecting from you know we have only limited classes as well so i'm expecting from uh, I am group number one, I guess, last week. It's the group number five presentation, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So last week, Janaki, with the last week, group five, I'll be present. Hello? Yes, sir. Hello? Group five, I can correct, sir. Correct. So, shall we ask group one to present now? Okay, sir. Yeah. So, you can share the presentation. So, there are students from different, uh, because we are manufacturing and food also. So, we, we all are listening to you now. Later, they also will present to you uh, what they have done. So, yeah, group number one, who is going to present first? Who is going to present first? Yeah. Because this is your time, last all the while, last many weeks I have shared. I talked, you look silent, and today it's your time, Puta. Yeah, please. Uh, So who is going to present? Yes. Lamai? Uh, shall we start? I am group number one. Okay. Janaki, who is going to present? Number one. How about group number two? This and I can group. Are you ready? Group number three, Puta? Group number three. Group number three. Sir, one, sir, one mom, remember, is not joining it. Yeah, which, which group, Puta? Group number three? Oh, group yeah. number one. Group number two, we can do that, sir. Yeah, group number two. Please go ahead, Puta. 
yeah we cannot waste time no. group number two please go ahead Very good. So can I start? Okay, Buddha. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Yeah, please start. Now we have 40. Yeah. I don't want to protect the environment. I want to Create a world where the environment doesn't need protecting. Very good. Very good afternoon, all of you. Thank Today you. we present our presentation relevant to environmental management and cleaner production. So first of all, I would like to introduce what is our topic. So our topic is government policies and strategies for cleaner production. Then I go for the next slide. Uh, there are seven members in our group. Uh, you can see now. Uh, so our group number is number two. This is, uh, this is our table of content, our presentation. Basically we divided uh, seven parts uh, today. Uh, during that presentation, I think you can get an uh, idea about uh, government uh, policies and strategies for cleaner production topic. So now I'm going to go uh, introduce introduction of our presentation. Basically, our topic have uh, three, uh, four kind of uh, keywords, uh, such as strategies, policies, and the government. After that, important thing is the cleaner production. Now I introduce uh, that kind of key uh, words. Strategies mean action of plan that designed for a achieving environmental protecting goal. So policy is the course, course of action that adopted and pursued by a government that both of uh, strategies and the policies created by government. What is that government meaning? Government meaning a group of people that people uh, work together that governs a community or a unit. So strategies and the policies created by government uh, for a cleaner production. I go for the uh, cleaner production. What is the mean by uh, cleaner production? Uh, I think you can see now uh, some chart on that presentation. This is like a mind map. You can get idea about what is the cleaner production. What are the keywords? Cleaner production is the continuous application of an integrated preventive environmental strategy towards processes, products, and the services in order to increase overall efficiency and reduce damage and risk for the humans and the environment. This is the basic idea about cleaner production. Now I'm going to go for the uh, next slide. Uh, you can see uh, now some, some of chart relevant to our topic. This is the cleaner production hierarchy. Uh, that hierarchy mean a good tool. This is help to think about cleaner production options in operation and to focus on eliminating or reducing waste and source. So basically, uh, uh, that hierarchy focus on, on uh, some strategies uh, such as uh, waste prevention, waste management, control and disposal. Uh, you can get idea uh, about our presentation, our topic. Uh, why uh, policies and uh, strategies created by government? Because of some reason. Be what is that reason? What, uh, that reason is the, some barriers. What are that barriers? 
so such as the resistance to change, lack of communication within the enterprises, uh, perception of risk, competing business priorities, sometimes difficulty in accessing cleaner technology, difficulty accessing in external finance, uh, and the, the failure of existing regularity approaches. Uh, this is, these are the sum of barriers. Therefore, uh, government created a number of policies and strategies and uh, promoted a number of policies and strategies. Uh, strategies, uh, they are uh, because of that barriers. I think you, you get some idea about our topic, relevant our topic. Now I hand over that presentation to Maliti. Maliti. Thank you, Chamudi. Now I'm going to talk about national policy and strategy for clean air production for Sri Lanka. Who developed this? The national policy and the strategy on clean air production for Sri Lanka has, has been developed by Ministry of Environmental and Natural Resources on behalf of the government. And the policy pronounced that clean air production principles should be applied to improve the efficiency of natural resources used while maintaining and improving environmental quality. In this process, it is essential to avoid, avoid damages to the environment and harmful effect on human health caused by pollution and by unsustainable production and consumption practices and to the sustainability of the ecology and life supporting system through over exploitation of natural resources. What is over exploitation? Over exploitation means excessive use more than our share. So that means we are using future generation share as well. So we call that over exploitation. And now I invite and now I invite Prasadini. Prasadini. Thank you, Maliti. Our next topic is aims of cleaner production. First one is achieve sustainable development in Sri Lanka. And second one is improve environmental quality throughout Sri Lanka. Fourth one, third one is improve eco-efficiency across all sectors of the economy in Sri Lanka. And fourth one is alleviate poverty and improve living standards of all Sri Lankans. And I'm going to invite Amma to present our next slides. Uh, now I am uh, talking about policy goals. Policy goals improving water and energy consumption, efficiency by minimizing water and exploitation while improving um, production processes, the aim is to improve the efficiency of material and energy used by produ producing eco-friendly products that en ensure the environmental health of the um, people of Sri Lanka. Uh, Chaturika. Thank you, Amma. Uh, there are five main policy objectives uh, in the clean production. Uh, first one is the improve efficiency of water and energy consumption by minimizing wastage and excessive exploitation and used to improving the production process of better products and provision of services. The second one is improve environmental performance by using ecologically sound practices in the production process, design and use of products and in the provision and use of services. The third one is reduce consumption pressure on the natural resources based by efficient use of raw material. The fourth one is improve social responsibility towards sustainable development. Uh, the fourth one, uh, fifth one is improve competitiveness in the local and global economy through environmental sound practices. Uh, next, I invite uh, Bindu Sara to uh, continue presentation. Thank you. Uh, this is a policy statement of 
clean up production continuous improvements environment policy planning implementation revolution of non conformities government review this uh, uh, policy statement process integrate cp concept policies and practices into all secretarial procedures with the goal improvement material and energy use efficiency by utilizing cleaner production method producing eco products and providing better service while ensuring environment health of ecosystem and the people of sri lanka provide incentive and decent disincentives as appropriate to improve efficiency of cp policies and practices in all sectors establishing implement and supportive to promote cp establish and implement performance measurement and benchmarking system to evaluate efficiency of sectorial policies and mon monitor the overall impact of these policies on environmental economic and social development promote charging of consumption pattern or most sustainable levels through implementation of cp concept and appro approaches build the capacity of implement cp policies and procedures at all levels apply cp policies at the local local regional and national levels improve system efficiency incorporate cp concept into educational system at all levels secure multi sectoral stakeholders participation in the cp programs now i invite chamodi to continue this presentation thank you bindu sara in that presentation we talk about uh, strategies and policies uh, created by government for the uh, cleaner production i talk about strategies strategies in in that uh, slide so basically uh, there are lot of uh, strategies are there uh, such as change uh, present water consumption patterns and uh, eliminate wastage of energy and improve the systems apply life cycle thinking to reduce or uh, uh, eliminate overuse of raw materials and wastage um maliti change the processes practices uh, after that create this uh, incentive for a production and use of uh, environmentally harmful products uh, create awareness about the potential and procedures of cleaner production promote good governance through uh, incorporating cleaner production practices at the local regional and national government levels so i would like to hand over that presentation to uh, maliti maliti thank you chamudi uh, the other policies are develop regulatory financial and market based instrument establish performance indicators and benchmark to assess and monitor the performance establish and utilize regular in reporting procedures to convey the results of the cp programs establish and implement procedures for improving the overall cp program develop a sustainable institutional mechanism to coordinate in intern intra sectoral cp activities and networks and these are some of the questions that we have made based on our presentation so you you can use these questions to improve your knowledge and these are also some of the questions that we have made the environment and the economy are really both two side of the same coin if we cannot sustain the environment we cannot sustain ourselves so let's create a world where the environment doesn't need protecting thank you very much
Putala, thank you very much. It's a wonderful presentation. It is really good, but uh, I have to advise Bindu Sara Puta a bit. Uh, you, you would have presented your part very well if you did some early preparations. Puta Manuhari Sala Kalim prepare window, eh? Kalim prepare well. I can tell you, Naragata. When you understand well, when you prepare well, your tone, your mood, then all different. We can feel it. Huh? So next time for Bindusara, the advice is, it's, it's not only reading the words. When you understand it, uh, your accent, your way of presenting it is different. Yeah, that's why. Yeah? So next time, if Bindusara needs to uh, present anything, so we need some early, very good preparation. Yeah? That is very important. Yeah. So that is advice for you and also I feel that uh, these presentations are very good. Slides are well arranged, informations are really in attractive way, it's all presented and even your, your, your presentation, the, the audio also looks quite good. So I have one suggestion if possible. And don't think this uh, this is too much for you. Can you create uh, something for the YouTube uh, under a name, maybe UOV2, UOVT, even UOVT Environmental Management and Cleaner Production, or UOVT IEM, or whatever uh, cleaner production? Can you create? Uh, uh, something like, I don't know, it's a domain or what, and then can you uh, upload these things uh, with nice recordings again, but you have to do this and you can send it to us. So our colleagues will be happy about those uh, qualitative works. If possible, wonderful, because these presentations are standard enough uh, to do that kind of things. Yeah. How do you feel, Putana? Is it okay, my suggestion? It's very nice. It's very nice. That's why so we should not keep these two hours. And when we put this video, someone will also learn out of this. If you need, you can make it some more nicer. But to me, this is good enough. This is good enough. Uh, even I can send the recordings because I'm doing the Zoom recording. I can send the recordings as video clips. Then you will feel how good these are. And even you can redo it if you need some improvements. There are little improvements, of course. And maybe some nice sound effects and all. Uh, try to do something because uh, in future, this kind of uh, online resource material, if people can have, uh, it's a good contribution from students really. Uh, can you try Buddha? Uh, it, is, it is okay, it's, it's, uh, you are up to that level now, so your presentation. Okay, so we try our best to do that. Very good Buddha, it's a wonderful contribution from your side and everybody feel proud of that really, the university, yeah. So please try Buddha. So yesterday presentation also, not yesterday, last week, group five also excellent. This is also excellent. So I believe the coming three also should be in very good shape. And we will look into the others as well. And then put this stuff into one like a channel Buddha, like a channel. So because environment is part of that, even you can expand the scope for the COVID and whatever, and we can make the uh, videos. Videos means uh, those are something like uh, pieces of micro teaching and micro learning. Okay, 20, 30 minutes presentations. Those are very attractive. And this is the directions for future learning Buddha. That's why. So, so it is wonderful presentation so i i feel that we should share these things yeah 
because now the requirement is more burning. Okay, Budala, good day. Eh? Please try your best to uh, do this. I, I will send you the, the recordings. Uh, you can improve this a bit wherever grammatical mistakes if you have, even with grammatical mistakes, it's okay because the slides are quite good. So you, you can further do some improvements before, before putting into YouTube. Take some little gaps in timing for the readers to read the texts and all that. Uh, we will do is very nicely and this is the trend really, this is the trend of uh, uh, learning and sharing. So thank you very much. So uh, another group, is it uh, group one, Ready Bhutan? Janaki, which group is going to present again? Which group is going to present now? It's excellent. Today we will complete the presentations. Even no full team, if you can proceed, we will proceed, Buddha. So that's the beauty of making a presentation more attractive. Uh, it's uh, attractive not only for you but for the others other people as well outside your batches yeah it's very good that's why so we can go for that step really wonderfully we can go for that and slowly we can improve it in Mobutana? Sir, we can do okay, group number you. three. Group number three. Three. Okay. Please proceed, Puta. Very good. Good afternoon, all of you. Uh, we are going to present about how clean production uh, implement in industries. First, I would like to introduce what is clean production. Uh, clean production is a preventive, company specific environmental protection initiative to increase overall efficiency and reduce risk to humans and the environment to minimize waste and emissions and maximize product output. Uh, cleaner production also sometimes called pollution prevention and can be applied to the processes used in any industry, to the products uh, themselves and to various services provided in society. Implementation of cleaner production requires a structured holistic common sense approach using systems and people to both reduce environmental impact and improve the overall company performance. Uh, now I move to next slide. Uh, this is the phases of cleaner production. Uh, first, you need to recognize, minimize waste. After that, First step is the planning and organization. In this case, clean and production team is established and set assessment goal. At this phase, the participation and commitment of the owners and workers were confirmed because they should determine the success of clean and production implementation. The second step is assessment. In this step, there are some activities. They are enterprise data and its processes, flow of material, waste, emission, and creating work groups, and also generating clean production options. The third step is uh, feasibility analysis. Uh, in this step, uh, there should be a 
technical evaluation economic evaluation and environmental analysis uh, and also in this step uh, should select greener production option uh, the last step is the implementation in this step uh, do part of tension equipment installation advisement and evaluation of results and project adaptation through these steps can implement the um, production process successfully uh, now i move to next slide uh, this is about the cleaner production uh, implementation there are four steps first one is create action plan Uh, second one is implement options third one is monitor the new resource consumption waste generation level and evaluate results and last step is sustain cleaner production uh, now i hand over the presentation to desi thank you achini uh, now i explain about the properly implemented cleaner production uh, in this we uh, we uh, we always reduce long term liabilities uh, next is uh, when we uh, implement the cleaner production in a uh, in company it increases the profitability uh, and uh, it lowers the production cost uh, enhance productivity uh, it and also reduce the risk of environmental accidents Uh, also result in improved product quality uh, was uh, next one is uh, that increase the staff motivation also because the cleaner production was implemented in a company uh, we can um, we can uh, plan our works and we can manage our work so they motivate to work and also reduce the consumer risk Uh, now i explain about methods and tools of uh, cleaner production implementation uh, first we prioritize the action from the most effective with number of capital cost to those that may require capital investment and next one is we can identify where are the largest percentages of waste uh next one start with opportunities that have direct financial benefits for no cap capital ex expenditure also uh, we can track and chart all the action and progress uh, it is help to uh, evaluate the effectiveness of the implemented cleaner production option because of this we can manage our work properly Uh, also it's encourage continuous feedback and reward for staff it's uh, it's also more it's motivate to doing work uh, we have to keep it simple waste identification and minimization in the cleaner production implementation uh, definition of the waste in is anything that doesn't add value to the process there are a lot of waste in the industry uh, first one is inventory inventory waste refers to the waste produced by unprocessed inventory this include the waste of storage the waste of capital tied capital tied up in unprocessed inventory the waste of tran transporting uh, the environment impact of inventory waste are packaging additional materials to replace damage or obsolete inventory and next one is over production over production production of of product it is uh, stocking to much of waste and new hospital type up 
interaction can have various environmental effects and correction material and information movement uh, eating scrapping product scrapping product due to defect working or use defect free units parts being assembled incorrectly customer return to be next is over processing over processing refer any any component the process of manufacture that is under time energy emissions are wasted when they are used to produce something that is unnecessary in a product next one is the time because how the whole product need one step the production chain while the previous step is completed uh, this is also have environmental impact uh, that's a wasted labor and energy from lighting heating or cooling during the waiting period next one is motion wasteful motion is all of the motion whether by a person or a machine that could be minimized a minimization of the waste uh, there are three techniques of minimization of waste that's are recycling source reduction product uh, source reduction that can be divided into two two parts first one is good housekeeping <coughs> it's mean well written work in instruction supervision awareness and regular training of workforce would facilitate good housekeeping next one is process change it's all can be divided into four parts running in material change it means substitute input materials by eco friendly and other one is the process control duplication of the procedure machine of operating instruction and process records next one is equipment modification it's mean modification of existing production equipment utilities for instance next one is technology change it mean replacement of the technology to minimize waste generation during production next uh, waste minimization technique is actually is divided into parts first one is one recovery and reuse it's mean reuse creation of useful by products uh, is modification of the waste generation process in order to transform the wasted material into a material that can be used or recycled for another application within other waste minimization technique is that the product can be modified to minimize the environmental impacts of its production or those of the product itself during or after its use now i invite harsha to continue the presentation thank you desika Desika, move to next slide. Hello, Desika. I move to the next slide. Slide number ten. So are we missing the slide number nine, Puta? The minimization of waste. So this, uh, yeah, it's there. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you, Desika. Now I describe 
um, about the life cycle assessment and eco design. The first one introduction life cycle assessment. Life cycle assessment is a very popular analysis for reporting potential environmental loads and resources consumed in each step of a product or service supply chain. The goal of life cycle assessment is to compare the full range of environmental effects assignable to products and services by quantifying all inputs and outputs of material flows and how these material flows affect the environment. Now I discuss about the eco design. This is a move to slide number 10. Eco design is a well established approach in design products with the consideration and integration of environmental impact of the product system. The main goal of eco design is to anticipate and minimize negative environmental impacts. Next, move to the next slide. Move to next slide. These are the recent policy tendencies. Uh, the policy tendency is changing traditional focus of environmental management. Mm -hmm. The one is increased role of municipal and local programs. Next one, integration of standards with cleaner production. Cleaner production audits in environmental permitting and access to funding. Voluntary initiatives from the private sector Cleaner production financing framework, new areas of work is the last policy tendencies. Now I discuss about industrial development policy. Industrial development policy is an official strategic effort to encourage the development and growth of all or part of the manufacturing sector. It covers the three main areas. They are social, environmental and economic. The goal of industrial development policy is sustainable development. Now I invite to Gihan to continue this presentation. Thank you, Harsha. Change in focus environmental management. Change of focus from process of product. Integrate product policy and extended product responsibility. Shift from environmental media to industry specific standard. International plant protection convention. Move upward the production process. Supply chain management. Uh, green industry. Next slide. Next slide. Green industry means economic striving uh, for a more sustainable pathway of growth by undertaking green public investment and implementing public policy indicative that according to environmentally responsible private investment. Supplies are provided raw material and technology equipment. After that, production process by using the material. After production is manufacturer and doing packing for the product. All the process doing eco-friendly. Next slide. Integrate pollution prevention and control. IPPC refer to the minimizing of pollution from various industrial 
Intergage Pollution Prevention and Control aims to prevent aims and waste production and where that is not practicable, reduce them to acceptable level. That is the control environmental emission for all environmental media. Reduce natural resource, energy use, exposed to uh, hazard substances, release of uh, pollution by economic activities. I hand out to Madhav uh, continued presentation. Thank you, Gijan. Gijan explain to uh, what is uh, IPPC. Uh, now I uh, explain to benefits of IPPC. Sa saving money in cost related to material operation and pollution or waste treatment and disposal. Uh, using uh, raw material, staff resources, equipment, energy, and water more efficiently. Uh, improving air quality, decrease the use of uh, toxic substances, decrease uh, regulatory requirement by eliminate the need for permits, hazard waste, uh, manipulates, monitoring and reporting. Improving uh, community relation, company image, and customer loyalty. Next slide. Uh, ERP. Uh, ERP is the environmental uh, policy approach in which uh, producer responsibility for product extend to the post consumer stage of the uh, product life cycle. Uh, make the manufacturing resp uh, responsibility well for various extent of the product life cycle beyond simple Simply the manufacturing stage this, uh, is the uh, product life cycle. Uh, recycle energy uh, recovery, uh, design, manufacturing, uh, retail, uh, retail use, uh, and final uh, end of life. Uh, next slide. Uh, IPP integrated product policy. First, in uh, mini minimize uh, pollution to the environment during production. Measure aimed at promoting an innovating friendly product. Uh, develop a friendly product suitable for customer demand. Measure to create makes for environmentally sound products. Final one is uh, measure which allocate responsibility for managing, managing the environmental uh, birds of uh, product system. I invite to Rajita. Thank you, Madhava. <clears throat> supply chain management. The producer requires sub suppliers and sub uh, subcontract to confirm their environmental performance to continue business. ISO 14001 standard is mandatory requirements for uh, related to environment. Suppliers need to obtain the necessary certificate in order to carry on their businesses. Uh, supply chain management is the way a company finds the raw components which needs to make product or services. Service uh, manufacture that product or service and deliver it to customers. Supply chain management involves coordinating and integrating these flow both within and among companies. Supply chain management flow can be divided into main three flows. The product flow, information flow, and financial flow. The proper, proper choice of supply of raw material offer a very important possibility to reduce the environmental impact of product. Next slide. Next slide. Uh, initiative of the companies. Uh, environmental agreements and programs organized by the industry. World Business Council for Sustainable Development, Eco-Efficiency and Eco-Effectiveness. International Network for Environmental Management. Improve production of environmentally friendly in industry. 
Next slide. Uh, next slide is possible new area for PC, uh, CPC involvement. First one is a multilateral environment agreements. Uh, next one, ISO, SLS, and Five Star. Uh, green Investment Fund and innovate, Innovative Financing. Environmentally Sound Technology Transfer Programs. Eco Labeling and Certifications. Uh, environmental Management Accounting. Occupation, Health and Safety. Uh, I invite to continue presentation to Arfad. Thank you, Rajita. Uh, reasons to be optimistic about clean air production. Developing a regulatory framework and increasing pressure for enforcement. Development, develop the work efficiency and effectiveness. Progress in the application of market-based instruments. Increased effort and policy development. And realistic resource pricing and competitiveness and market pressures. Next one. Some of policy responses to encourage lending for CP. It means how to promote providing the pure production of clean air production. New focus on clean air production promotion. CP profitability demonstration programs for the industry financial sections and capacity building programs and assistance in preparing financing proposals and develop innovative financing mechanisms. Next one. Barriers to clean air production implementation. What are the threats are here? We want to focus on the threats. It means barriers, uh, internal barriers and external barriers. There are two, type, two types of barriers are here. Internal barriers mean traditional philosophy of CEO, CEOs and low awareness. Limited information, data and expertise on waste and emissions and focus on end of pipe solution and short term profits, inadequate costs, profit calculation, no or limited support of middle management. Another one, external barriers, availability of investment capital, and availability of clean air protection technologies. Next. Uh, there are some questions. We have to make some of question of the clean air protection. What are the key factors to be included on clean air product policy? Explains the four practices about energy conservation in, in the part of clean air, product, clean air manufacturing, explain the positive financial impact to, impact to the company by implementation of clean air production, and explain the advantages of ISO 14001 EMS policies, policy as approach to clean air production, what are the benefits of clean air production implementation in an industry? Thank you. Thank you very much. Very good, Puta. Very good. So, Puta, can you close the presentation? I'm going to open it from my side. Yeah. Can you close the slide? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to open it uh, from my side. Uh, I believe this is the one, right? Eh? Yeah. Yes, this is the one. Uh, cleaner production implementation in industries. So this is a 25 page, if I'm not mistaken, I think more than 25 page. Uh, 
presentation. Yeah. So here got the, yeah, you can make the front page more bright. Huh? Yeah. This color is not that uh, bright enough to attract. Anyway, that's what I feel. Eh? It's it's uh, maybe others have different understanding. Yeah. So this is a group here, cleaner production definition, phases, okay, assessment, feasibility, implementations. Yeah. Then the cleaner production implementation. You can see all in the point form. Okay. So. This is creating the cost. So what implementation means action plans, looking into implement options. Uh, then the uh, after implementation, you have to monitor it and then you have to sustain it. Cleaner production, then properly imp implemented cleaner production. You see the benefits of this. Methods and tools means the ways and means yeah, to for cleaner production implementations, yeah, some uh, instructions. So waste identification and minimization, minimization of waste. Then the life cycle assessments and eco designs about the policies and tendencies. Then development policies for what it's mentioned here from these three. Then the Evolution of environmental management focus from product to processes. I will mention it. The evolutions, industry concepts, green industries, then the uh, integrated pollution pre prevention and control. The integrated means holistic. It's not only about the resources, material, it's about the energy, even about the hazards, human health, environment. Yeah, see, this is a control of environmental, whole environmental media, ecosystems. Then the benefits of integrated pollution, prevention and controls, then the extended producer responsibilities, integrated product policies, supply chain management, initiatives of the companies, possible new areas, reasons to be optimistic, policy responses, barriers to cleaner production. And you can see this 26 page. Of course, thank you is also a very important page. Eh? Yeah, this also has a knowledge, piece of knowledge here. So this 26 page starting from page number one, so this contains a lot of information, Putana. Okay. And this information is quite here contains information, some directions, trends, guidance, lot of things. So this is something like uh, it is more than knowledge than the information is one thing, knowledge is another thing. So make it in information. Out of this information, you can look for some knowledge. You can extract knowledge. And this is a complete information so that this is something like a platform. You can make it like a platform. You have the foundation, the information. So using this, you can have a lot of uh, knowledge you can create a lot of knowledge out of this and presentation so when you turn this into piece of knowledge out of this 25 that may be the 25 pages that may be the second step something like so here you have organized the information very well okay and turn this into uh, pieces of knowledge, it may take another five or six times of the effort and the time uh, you spend on this. So 
Devani, the information is there, and we have received the knowledge as well. Yesatiya uh, katte my group number five, information there, and we have received the knowledge. Uh, previous one group number uh, two, information there, we have received the knowledge as well. But here for this presentation, mostly we got the information. Targeting, turn this information into knowledge. Then puta then puta la then make a kiyo pu vidhi vidhi no ani. You just narrate make a kiyo wa gani kiya vitharai. The monotonous voice echo me vidhi vidhi. You just read this. No racing, slowing down. No much accent of this means your voice has no commanding uh, tone. Your voice has no tone to make the audience more attentive and to follow your voice your voice is not up to there so you cannot with that voice just reciting this you cannot make the students follow you if i can if of course we are following because we have some intention that's why even we can give these comments but naturally you are not that naturally uh, make the audience uh, audience following you means you are not that commanding it's your commanding nature attention but presentation is good so uh, let's say for the uh, youtube if you need to upload this this is still the platform making quotas quotas and again you have to turn into a useful knowledge you have to take piece by piece means example barriers to cp implementation can be one piece of youtube because that is uh, we can make a CP implementations uh, so some policy responses to encourage so this is another micro piece of knowledge uh, micro level uh, reasons to be optimistic yeah so you can see that possible new areas initiatives of the companies supply chain also you have mentioned integrated product policies so this is something like a Bible, but uh, uh, you have to elaborate this. Okay, I'm not asking you to elaborate this, but putting this all in this one, say one single presentation is a good work. Okay, I'm not undermining your work. This is a good work, good job. Okay, you have put everything into one presentation. That is good. There are no doubt about this, but turning this implementation into turning this implement informations into knowledge, uh, you have to go for second steps. Otherwise, this may take a lot of time. And then put a balani make a calling you a rupee. It's an body rupee of people, and this is a diagram. Are you at the inner rupee? Children, relevant seek of the inner key and damage. See, no diagrams. Mind maps ki ne kan nai. Then kalingi ki lassani te mind map pegati mai ko te mind map pega. It helps you and it helps the others as well. So this is only the words. That is good but here you have a graph. But see, only the words. Yeah, this is a good graph, a good picture. So you can see mostly this also a lot of words even uh, i can remember this line so only the words that's why so only when you try to give some liveness to words then only the pictures appears anyway this is okay uh, we can make use of this, of course, no issues, but this is the nature of presentation, maybe 
to improve this is uh, tougher to improve means convert this into fully attractive piece of knowledge for others to learn yeah it's a second step we have to try then this 26 slides maybe ended up with over 100 slides possible <laughs> possible because this is something like a platform so to me this is okay uh, so for your side uh, uh, you can think of uh, balancing when you explain something others must receive something okay others must receive something that is important eh? yeah then we good put on a presentation uh, the sun is presentation Some, uh, presentation group number three so i have received group number four now we will see anyway me me with them up you're gonna get near them but i'm the person can know what i'll be getting on the table and some other lecture as long that uh uh what did it on what kappa can get the better then okay any get to do a kill hit a lot they may be putting some power points yeah hey guys that is okay it would be me when i'll be gonna go no good at the value even psychological aspects we need to do a presentation yeah? how to command the audience whether they are online or not how to make the audience attractive yeah? you have to develop your own kind your own uh, own way of uh, uh, how to say sharing knowledge you have to develop own way of skills yeah? own way of skills skillful even myself that that it's skillful but they are very good a skillful lecturers extremely skillful they know how to twist and turn the words tones and all and with very little slides they can do a big uh, uh, contribution okay uh, on Langadi Kiru, I can lecture it. It's a four hour lecture, but when I look into the slides, I made it is only six slides, but four hour lecture. And even when I look in the occasionally, to put one lesson from this presentations are so we should aware that we should develop our presentation talents okay go home the presentation like attractive in the hadagan to go to langa neti dura in the kind of go to go home the make a last senator present karan because sometimes your job interview can be online with a lot of them and job interview also can be online then to make them even i face online interviews yeah several times yeah of course earlier times not now so you have to you have to think of that kind of uh, possibilities for future you know what i mean online it would come on the pain with me i don't to pay in it may come on only the face maybe only the gestures but you have to command your voice that is very important then you presentation selling up eager again with a wake up at how to improve command the voice to make the others attractive the other meter calling presentation like a pattern of the video it's it's in a good style it is nice yeah so giving a message previous presentation started that's all so that's all from my side about the comments overall this is a good contribution to this class that is okay so i know that information here contains a lot and most information to make it sense sensible to make it sensible you need little exposure exposure completely okay good
So now uh, that's all. Now I will ask group number four, group number four to start the presentation. Group number four. So after that, we will go for group number one. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Group number four. Yes. Group number four. It's about cleaner production promotion. The team from J. Swarnamala and then uh, Ratnavir, Kushant, Sandhuru, Ananda and Kanishka, Putana. You can start now. Okay, sir. Uh, clean production promotion. Put your slide. Good afternoon. And, yeah, very good. Thank you. Good today, afternoon. Today we are presenting you uh, clean production promotion. <laughs> After the uh, start my presentation, I would like to tell you about the expression from Dalai Lama Thero. Uh, actually, he is a spiritual leader in the world. He said that as people alive today, we must consider future generations. A clean environment is a human right like any other. It is therefore part of our responsibility toward others to ensure that the world we passed on is as healthy. If not healthier, then we found it. And now I would like to start my presentation. And uh, our uh, presentation title is Cleaner Production Promotion. We are group number four, and this, these are those are our group members. And this is the content that we discuss with you today. First of all, we we discuss what is the cleaner production, what is the cleaner production promotion. Then we talk about how we can promote cleaner production by uh, some instrument. There are three instruments in there. Then we talk about consequences of promoting CP. And finally, we provide some correction for your practice. And actually, cleaner production means the continuous application of an integrated preventive environmental strategies. There are some strategies to prevent environmental hazards and risk like that. And though we can use those strategic to process and product to reduce risk that com comes to the human and the environmental too. Very good. And the cleaner production promotion. Actually, we promote cleaner production to increase the efficiency of the utilization rate of resources. Then reduce and avoid the generation of pollutants. pollutants. They can be happen in the production and the after the product or service give to the uh, some part like that then to protect and improve environment then finally ensure the health of human beings that also we have to consider and and we build up a triangle for these cleaner production promotions uh, there are three instruments in the edges of the triangle economical regulation and information those tools we can use for cleaner production to better promotion strategy and we talk about the regulatory instrument in the first there are some regulatory instrument that we uh, is, that we discuss today policy then law product bans and trade restriction raw material and depletion quota liability assignments then finally facility operation standards and permits now we discuss these things First one is policy. There are many policies that countries and some standard organizations offer. They are industrial development policy, environment policy, foreign trade policy, investment promotion policy, and there are a lot of policies in our world. They can be they can they, they are introduced locally and internationally. If you talk about some example in 1997, this there is a uh, Chilean policy, then Colombia's 1997. A cleaner production policy, national environmental policy of Mexico, and national CP policy of Nicaragua. If we talk about national environment policy of Mexico, it is the Mexico was the one of the first country in the world to pass a specific policy in to they they they, they establish this policy for 
they are climate change that happen from uh, not following the cleaner production and they they are target is to reduce gas emission by 30% in 2020 like uh, it is this year and uh, that is, that is a strategy that they used for this and these are the some benefits from cleaner production policy by applying in any country organization or their workplaces less pollution and the protection of natural resources then public health public health means in the uh, who are the work in the organizations and we can talk about the, the who are consume their product or service like that then less adversarial enforcement of regulations increase economic competitiveness of industry we can we can uh, have some foreign uh, exchange by uh, by applying these policies in the organizations then compliance with international environment protocols it also gives some benefits to the organizations and countries and if we talk about law there is a uh, green production law green production promotion law that is uh, established by china republic of china uh, this uh, this uh, law uh, established by national people congress 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 in the in 2002 this law was enacted to promote cleaner production and increase the efficiency of the utilization rate of resources reduce and avoid the generation of pollutants then protect and improve environment and there are a lot of things in that to protect their environment and uh, 2002 is its appro appro uh, approval year and in 2012 uh, they put this uh, practically on to get uh, effect effect effective for their country and if we talk about facility operation permits uh, people can industry and organization have to have these type of permits from the authorities to continue and doing their production process in their company if they are not following or get for get these type of permits they may be banned or sometimes they have a ticket from these authorities and when they are applying these per permits and having their permits standards uh, after get the permits they may be there may be limitation to done their processes and government may be investigate their processes their organization and that's all and they may be monitoring while they are doing the processes in the their organizations it may be continuously monitoring by government and some related authorities and if we talk about standards and methods there is a standards to uh, in, that is called as a environmental management system it is iso 14001 that established by iso iso mean in the in, uh, international standard organization and uh, there is a uh, environment management system framework in that uh, there are some uh, related uh, basic things that we that they are they are covered they are cover leadership planning support operation performance evaluation improvement in the separate organizations and organizations should follow these uh, standards if government sometimes assigned to do this and sometimes organization can do it by their own selves and because the, the organization do this by their their self because there are more advantages from these uh, ki these kind of management systems because uh, if i talk about an example uh, these kind of management systems applied in uh, like uh, if, if we talk about garment industry brandix marks and if we talk about shipbuilding industry colombo dockyard is also following and applying these type of management system uh, why they use this management system environment management system because merchandisers uh, european customers they are more like to have product or service from these kind of organizations the organizations that is follow environment management systems because they are like uh, we can call them as a green consumers and it uh, it is better for that organization as well as country because we can build our export market and uh, earn foreign exchange from this type of standard and then we talk about product band and trade restriction this can be happen 
uh, if the organization so industry doesn't follow some standard policies and like that uh, in the if we talk about an examples in kenya they banned plastic because plas they are in the plastic they, that is a, a chemical for human unhealthy it is cadmium so in the coca cola and nestle fc cola unilever they have to think about uh, these uh, practices when we when they doing their business in those countries and actually in europe they, they also banned cadmium because cadmium is also contained in uh, paints uh, if we talk about uh, further in trade restriction uh, if sometimes uh, the some countries maybe restrict their imports if some uh, multinational law any company import uh, export they are environmental hazards uh, materials product or that things uh, countries restrict the imports for environmental uh, goods then we talk about raw material depletion quota uh, in that uh, organization should consider sustainable management of natural resources then wood cutting and reforesting reforesting mean uh, planting uh, trees when they are cutting some woods and then liability assignment liability assignment mean damage caused by a pollution activity some someone pollute some organization polluting some uh, environment they have to liable to that uh, if there was a damage to the environment organization gets a fine from government ticket from government fine is investigated by some uh, related authorities if maybe uh, if maybe uh, it's a sea sea related uh, marine authority comes uh, if it's a rainforest or like kind of something uh, central environment authority come in to investigate this and then organization should recover those things and we can uh, we can remember the uh, latest incident case like pilpattu incident they are uh, some kind of ministry person and then we talk about our second instrument that is economic instrument we use economic instrument to save cost economic incentives then education and training buyer supply relations and we can get some soft loan from financial influence like world bank then community involvement and we can have international trade incentives as a organizations and first one is save cost we can save cost of raw material in waste final product in waste energy losses handling waste transporting waste like that because actually in the when when we are applying this cleaner production in the organization we are removing waste and zero waste so we can save cost that related to waste and then we talk about soft loan soft loans from financial institution and we can get loans for applying this cleaner production practices because uh, we are when we are applying some cleaner production practices in the organization we have to invest on this so we can get those money from uh, financial institution like imf and world bank like that uh, so we they offer uh, offer us long repayment long repayment periods and we have we can have a below market interest rate and no fixed date to repayment those things and if you talk about example clean up project project companies in lithuania and northwestern russia they have they have a uh, 200000 dollar loans to uh, imply the this uh, clean up production processes in their countries and they also have a fixed low interest rate with maturity and then we talk about buyer supply relations there is a waste water treatment systems in the organization and they are trying to use environmental friendly materials then carbon hazard substance man they, they manage the they manage them and this is the waste water treatment plant process that use in the brandix casual where rathmalana plant i was uh, intern in there so i learn about uh, such things in that uh, internship so this is the photograph that they use how they use waste water treatment plants and 
they use because they dyeing their garments and if they uh, put those water into the environment by following not following uh, this treatment plant it may be a hazard to the environment and then we talk about international trade incentives incentives uh, those are coming from like that i uh, that i tell you earlier uh, in the european countries and uh, such merchandisers consumers from foreign countries they they are the green consumers they they are more things in like green things so we can uh, have a foreign exchange uh, income to the sri lanka and there are some investors from overseas to like invest in these kind of things so we can have international trade incentives from this and the last instrument that i talk with you today it is the informational instrument in the informational instrument we talk about training campaigns education and training public recognition and awards then product labeling that is uh, you can see some uh, in the product there is a eco label in the, there then industry code of practices and very first i talk about in the informational instrument that is education and training in the education and training environmental advisory service there are some environmental advisory service who support to the organization to comply this type of cleaner productions and there are some free training and skill development programs also you can see there is a picture uh, who who is uh, there is a, it is a academy osha academy then they are in environmental management system they they imply those and they uh, do with the organize they uh, doing the doing these things with organization by uh, quality assurance uh, people like that and if we talk about an, an, another example thailand intru- introduced the cleaner production internship program in 1996 like we can also have these kind of things in our organizations and we talk about informational instrument we can do a greening campaigns if you doing green campaign there is a five steps in doing this and we can get a better result from following these steps in the very first we have to do understand in the situation we have to understand situation we have to uh, investigate the needs wants and requirement of our organization of government requirements needs and the people's requirements like that then we have to research our audience we have to research the people uh, culture attitudes behaviors values like that then we deciding on the strategy approach it is so it is actually based on the marketing subject uh, and then we ha- can develop in the message and choose the channel and we can have we can do a greening campaigns and channels may be tv commercial newspaper we can use newspaper direct mail website banner street billboard radio advertising and we can do in some social media advertisement like that and if we talk about uh, social media and internet things in this we can have this uh, data if we talk about the our world there are f- uh, population is 7.75 billion in that 5.19 billion mobile phone users are there and there are 4.54 billion internet users and 3.80 billion social media users so we can think about how we can easily do these screening campaigns on social media and web based thing and if we talk about sri lanka our population is 21.3 million and mobile phone connections there are 31.8 and internet users 10.1 and active social media users there are 6.4 so it is we can do this in a sri lanka also in social media and internet based things for greening campaigns and if we talk about uh, then public recognition awards and the award we can give some awards who doing cleaner production practices the organization so doing cleaner production practices efficiently and effectively so this is the some examples some country are uh, doing uh, for the organizations they give a award to uh, pro- uh, organizations who following these cleaner production practices and if we talk about product labeling i told that you Uh, we use eco labels on the product and uh, services 
uh, consumers able to buy those things some consumers are there they are able to buy those things they uh, looking for the product then there is a pack, uh, in the package on the package there is a eco label then they will buy the product so they influence to consume those things sustainable things like that and other one is the code of practice actually organization should follow this uh, because the uh, whether they are manufacturer or not they may be supplier they may be a production company uh, they have to follow this they have to produce materials goods with following this information uh, in this code of practice there is a chemical information how much should we have to use this chemical and how, uh, how many uh, how much contained in this and how uh, far we can limit it, limitation uh, this use of these uh, chemicals and the chemicals they are uh, requirement to they are restricted those all information contained in here and these are the consequences of promoting cleaner production in regular economic and information are the three instrument that we discussed and if we talk about regulation uh, instrument it's clearly outlined they are clearly outlined in policies uh, laws this is the things that you follow then technology based they are applying technology then how we can perform in this and they also contain in this and it is actually ineffectiveness because it says it says no cheaper way to do things and we can have uh, the, the, that the, we talk about some loans we can use those in uh, regulatory instrument and it is difficult to enforce and costly to the administer of the organization and uh, some price or no incentives for those exploiting and there is a implement implementation cost that can uh, arrange for the organization then if we talk about economic it it uh, in this polluter should pays to uh, in those things and there may be incentives from this like sale uh, uh, they can increase their sales like that then revenue for government from uh, i said that uh, government they can earn some foreign exchange then deposit and refund system is there then new trends can be happen in the uh, compared to interest then it is a flexibility and finally information if we talk about information it is not very difficult to decide because every can everyone can uh, uh, browse the internet browse the social media and uh, we can uh, make some arts make some reading campaigns very easily because uh, in the our generation this skills are automatically comes from the ages and then technical assistance can get from the some uh, organizations marketing organizations marketing consultant like that then information policies are there national level we can do those things and some voluntary program some are doing for uh, if there is a voluntary program organizations can go for there and uh, do this get the knowledge experience and skills from those programs and these are the three questions that we uh, build from this presentation you can uh, you can search the answers for this from our presentation and you can refer these links and get more information for this and thank you for listening to our presentation thank you buta uh, simply excellent eh? simply excellent <coughs> Six members are there, but only you managed to present this, Ratnavira. So your effort is valued then. Of course, you have a different personality, Buddha. Your voice is not that high, but you are very cool and convincing your presentation. Even I share that thoughts with the group as well. So, good. So that's why we, we can learn Putana, how the different personalities are making the audience uh, silent and attentive. Yeah, maybe many of you maybe agree on this. Uh, cool but convincing. Yeah. So it's a good presentation. Now you can see compared to the previous one. Previous one, we received a lot of information. 
in this presentation four, we have received information plus knowledge. Information plus knowledge. So we learn a lot of things. Yeah, it is very good. That's how it's a way you are presenting this and uh, I think good, good to develop your own style of uh, presentation, Putala. You should present these things better than the lecturers. That is what we are expecting. That's what we are expecting because now, unlike our past times, no computers, no internet, even no PowerPoints at all. Yeah, even no computers means no PowerPoint and no, it's all. And sometimes we are using, how to say, uh, some overhead projectors with, not to say overhead, the projectors with some light. Inside we use slides, hmm? transparent slides, put one by one and we project. Lecturers are also the same, but now you are equipped with a lot of technologies. A lot of gadgets and all, and now uh, it's time for you to develop this case. As I mentioned to you, so if you face online interview, Ratnavira, you also will have a very high chance to convince a group or the, the board of interviews with available knowledge. So only need is the preparatory uh, piece of knowledge and information. Even certificates may not be necessary if you are really convincing and competent data. I won't say you don't get the certificate, you should get the certificates, but other than that, we have to have other skills we have to develop. It's, it's very important, Putana, you will see last week, group number one. So we have seen some personalities, Group last week, group number five, even today, uh, also, we have seen some personalities. So that one is very important for all of you. Eh? So don't get compared with each other. Yeah. So assume that, uh, not to say assume, make sure that you all are better and different. Yeah, that's it. You all are different and are better. And one way you all are the same. Right? Yeah. So that's how we are seeing it. So, uh, maybe group number one looks, uh, hope at least next week group number one will present this. So now we have to strategize this. So group number five, three, two and four presented all. Please share this with the other class. Okay. That's including food manufacturing and even some IM. Group uh, this uh, five, uh, two, three, and four, you can share with the class. And we will ask them to review this and if they need to improve it, let them improve and send it to you again and I will receive afterward. So it may be helpful to develop the YouTube uh, video. So this presentation, this is nice. The slides are well arranged. Maybe you have to just do some, uh, how to say, if you need to have a bigger font, so whatever, it's up to you to add. Your voice is quite okay for the video. Yeah. So just under one host, we will compile all. So maybe you are VT. Uh, environmental management and clean production or whatever. Yeah, you can project your university as well. So I think it's, it's very good to have that kind of initiative because in the YouTube, uh, people do not talk that much about this. Yeah. So you can be the early trendsetters. So maybe we can have some audience, very good base maybe. So slowly we will add pieces of micro learning uh, knowledge to those. And uh, anyway, this is a very good field. I would believe it and future, very promising field and having earlier knowledge of this. And also having uh, uh, 
well groomed to this subject actually you should groom yourself your voice your speech your understanding your commanding your controlling uh, how to get the fellows to follow you and all so try to get this personality is also groomed eh? yeah, that is that is very important to me those are important than the uh, subject matter at this time groom yourself that is very important to tell eh? groom yourself yeah you may have simple life but uh, when you present to others you should be well groomed to make you acceptable in all the aspects that is very important and be simple that is fine but uh, you have to groom yourself that is very important groom means not only the appearance but your voice your thoughts your attitudes and all and you will be a different personality i am talking to all of you and eh? not just for one eh? yeah so groom yourself very well so that is the only way for us to move forward so you have no limits to explore the opportunities yeah so you can move forward so any more today see it is yeah one way it is very nice instead of presenting your presentation by me you have presented all in styles with your very good thoughts uh, it's so wonderful yeah so i need this quality really that's all yeah i know that you can explore the knowledge yeah. that is not a big issue but as long as you are strengthened uh, and empowered and you have a good personalities with wonderful attitudes those are very important eh? those are very important yeah also look into the quotes one time we shared some quotes of the great people i believe we have downloaded this one time we had a little discussion so you can believe in many of those quotes if you can believe in means uh, those will be added to your personalities Oh, very good i'm very happy to listen to your presentations actually we want you to be better than the lecturers so that is what we need to really. yeah lecturers means you will be future academics and professionals yeah so you have to be ready for that yeah <coughs> thank you butana so if not ready group number 1 if if even a few can present we are okay so if not uh, uh so i will again repeat the strategy of the coming sessions so except one two three four five you can circulate to the class other food and manufacturing and we will receive so let them review your presentations and uh if they need to improve more let them improve or else starting next week we will listen to their side as well we will listen to their side as well and we will have a common knowledge okay we will have a common knowledge so by in the coming two weeks we will have a common knowledge so i need your support to compile this and also i want some question bank from you because you have learned you have presented so give me questions i will put into the exam paper okay don't worry i have no fears yeah okay so you gave me the individual questions very good with every presentation i can consider it as the questions for the exams but even you can prepare some question banks think that you are a lecturer or a, you are going to answer this and then you can craft the question very well so it is another experience for you okay it's okay to be strategic okay no issue so craft the questions very nicely and send it to me i will put into the exams no worries okay i will put into the exam 
So I want you to get more marks. I want you to perform in the lessons and I want to get ready you for your future. That's all. So we will try to get as more higher grades as well in the exams. So I will assure that don't worry, eh? don't worry. So that's the plan. So please circulate this to manufacturing and food. And if they have any updates, we will receive them. Starting next week, we will hear to their side stories. Yeah, their side stories and we will, in two, three weeks time, we can uh, wind up the sessions. That's all right. And if you need to continue, we can continue in different forms, formats like uh, developing the YouTubes and all. It's very interesting. If anyone interested, even after finishing off the class, we can continue and we will put, we will make the YouTube channel. Yeah, so wonderful. So I believe we will go into this Putana and this will be one of the very good qualification for your interviews. Yeah, your creativities. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, even you can put in three languages if you want. Not only English, Sinhalese, uh, Tamil language, you can put this one. Yeah. So there may be more audience for you. So very good. Yeah. Uh, it's a good initiative, Utana. So we will try to do that one. Very good. Uh, so any more comments from your side? Any stories from your side these days? stories so today I put a three hour session because uh, we have to finish our even presentations today but uh, we are short of one <coughs> so it's uh, we can wind it up in two hours time so Good. Very good. Jani ki puta puluan ne the YouTube the kya ne chuttak balan interesting kar. The loku me ve dakne ve ne the. So can you ask the? You can coordinate maybe somehow. Sandru ani dakne ve na or you can. Uh, you can. Also today morning, today first presentation. Also very wonderful, there are presenters. Uh, how is it possible? Can anyone initiate it? Okay, yeah, have some self-initiatives self and uh, feedback to us. Let's coordinate it together and uh, do it. Okay, Putana, any comments? Yeah. I know the key, Neva. I can see some four types. Yes, yes. This assignment, yeah, this is very important. Yeah. So you will get this. Yeah, assignment means you will you will get almost the full marks with this justification. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay, now this is very important because this cover the complete knowledge stuff. That's why presentation one also compulsory next week we have to do this. So same food process technology <coughs> and manufacturing, they also have to do this. Yeah. Good. So this is an assignment. Yeah. For sure. <coughs> any questions? Any more questions? Yes, about the exam dates. So far, no. Okay. <coughs> so far, no idea about the exams. 
but we are learning but we are learning okay so we are learning means uh, we are ready okay we are ready so try to be ready and uh, even no need to wait for the exam if you can look for some opportunities uh, uh, so you can look for some opportunities don't wait for the exam but once you are ready you can you can face the exam anytime because as semester six students so uh, prepare your CV first okay even I can help you even we can discuss maybe how to make the CV uh, if you are interested we can uh, have a zoom session on preparing CV but come with ideas okay prepare the curriculum with your CV or biodata and then the covering letter and all so we will prepare this and get to your previous transcripts even without transcripts there's a piece of information about the subjects you have covered your trainings and all and, uh, so Your questions, even you can send by chat, so I can answer. So, from the IM side, uh, Can anyone send me the little plan about the <coughs> uh, this uh, creation of little videos based on sorry YouTube's based on your presentations. So whatever feel good because the presentation last week one and the today first presentation today last presentation we can straight away put into the uh, YouTube videos but uh, it, it's very good to improve a bit if possible maybe some uh, if there are grammatical improvements uh, you can do it so overall it is good so I will share these sound clips with you as well. So, so how to initiate this YouTube channel, Buddha? Who can lead this in your class? <coughs> okay. Anyway, get ready first. Okay, get ready first. Last week, uh, Sanduru Nijanaki and team, this time Ratnavira's team, and the today morning uh, team, I cannot remember the name, Putana, the very first one today, the very first one of the morning. So, get ready the uh, for YouTube channel. Eh? We will do something. Very good. Any more Buddha? Any more before winding up? No. Yeah. 
for the presentation marking criteria, don't worry about that. Yeah. Presentation marking criteria, don't worry. So that one is, uh, of course, the presentation, the slides very important. And the presentation also equally important. The presentation is equally important. Yeah. Any more questions? <clears throat> Any more questions? <clears throat> I hope no questions, it seems. Hope no questions, it seems. <clears throat> so let me stop the class. Uh, Janaki, I hope you can hear me. Uh, about the uh, using of these slides to make little videos. So if can take initiative, just uh, plan something. Yeah? Just plan something and let me know how to connect this. And we will uh, make a protocol that, uh, so after you are leaving, so someone can continue this. So in that way you can, someone can continue this. So we have to, uh, we have to arrange the formalities to make that this channel should be continually being improved. Okay. Yeah. So we think about all and then uh, try to formulate it. Okay, Buddha. Try to formulate it. So very good work. That's all. Then let me stop the class. Okay. About the YouTube, the formulation of this, you need a little management, yeah, and some uh, formulations may be there to continue this, to sustain this, to enrich this, because uh, just putting only and you cannot simply wipe your hands, so there can be continual improvements and all. So think about that, eh? okay, very good. So write to me if you have any good initiative ideas. It's quite, uh, how to say, it's a quite innovative and initiative, especially during this kind of uh, online, okay, online learning, and this will be the norm for future, for sure. Eh? <coughs> Very good. Thank you, Butala. So let me stop the class. That's all for today. Take care then. Okay, bye. Bye.